Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. I am Halicia, but I go by Lee. And if you are new here, I do fashion, travel, beauty, and natural hair content. And I try to upload videos weekly, so make sure that you stay tuned and subscribe. We are going to get into a full face of black owned brands. This is like the beauty edition because I've done fashion, clothing, all of those things, but I feel like I kind of lack in this space. So I wanted to highlight all of the amazing black owned brands that I am literally obsessed with. These are black owned things. Still can't be washed away. Not even in the Florida water. Like you can't wash this away. Like you know how people try to like drown out the scent and like all the cologne. You can't do that to us. Not even in that Florida water. That's why I love so much. What's up, Almond Brown? <laughs> now you know you heard me, Almond. I don't even know why you tripping. But you're an Almond yourself. You so almond and look at you. I'm gonna start calling you Almond Joy. Hi loves. We're gonna get it started. I'm fresh face. So I'm drinking tea. This mug is from Kicks and Froze. It's a black owned brand. It says, I wanna say it says I make kick contact before I make eye contact. And I have my two teas in here. I should have put some limes in here, but I'm gonna let it make it because it's a little too sweet but it's good okay so the shirt that i have on is from the yousef's amazon the drop collection if it wasn't earlier this year it was at the end of last year but i'm kind of disappointed because i feel like they only got one amazon the drop collection and it was pretty good but the shirt is super cute it has like these bellow sleeves it's fitted it's a turtleneck it's literally the perfect time to wear it so your girl is rocking it today and then the earrings that i'm about to put on are from the koi studio it's the black owned brand just found out about it she sent me some pieces and when i say 10 out of 10 this brand is going to give you luxury when it comes to jewelry so at the end of this video i'm really gonna like get into like her packaging the presentation all of the things but we're gonna go ahead and put on these earrings so that you guys have a little bit of candy to sweeten up the tutorial okay of black owned brands all things black owned a lot of these things are pieces that i use just like on a day-to-day -day basis when i do my makeup but some of them are new and i wanted to incorporate them in this tutorial Okay, first things first is Danessa Myricks. If y'all have not heard about the yummy skin, y'all need to get into it. I'm actually going to use this twice. So the first one is going to be in Universal. And Universal, I essentially just use as a primer. And this is a Pat McGrath brush. So watch how it like transforms the skin when you put it on. You obviously can use this like with your fingers, but I just find this application quicker easier that product is kind of like blurring but it's also like a little mattifying and i've been here for the glow i'm kind of in a little bit of pain i have like scratched and jammed up my fingers i got dried blood inside of my fingers and it's it's painful to me but anyway so i'm gonna move on to the yummy skin serum and this one is in juicy boost i want to say this is the darkest one oh juice boost and i really just use this on the areas of my face that i kind of want like that glow to pop through it's very hydrating but i don't know it's something about how it makes the skin just like illuminated i'm gonna use the yummy skin this is the same like blurring balm but this one is in number nine and i actually got the opportunity to do a partnership with danessa so i ended up being able to get a new one of these which i needed because look at this and y'all have to understand this product has not been out very long and i'm using the same brush so it just goes to show she's that girl if you have not stepped into danessa's world of makeup artistry you are truly missing out everything i cannot say one bad thing about anything 
in her collection everything that i've tried has been really really good and she kind of understands color matching too because i'm so sick of like stuff being super red or 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 making me gray or like dead looking i think there's only like 10 shades in this and for whatever reason it just works like it settles into the skin and it does everything that you need it to do. It's, I'm not looking to like cover up everything. I'm really just kind of looking for a nice, even, beautiful base. So it depends on what you're looking for, but that is a great option. This is a newer brand to me, but it's beautiful. And so far it's been great. So this is LYS Beauty. It is the first black owned clean beauty brand at Sephora. And like 90% of the products that I'm going to be using today are either at Sephora or Ulta Beauty. Full coverage brightening concealer. And I do feel like it does all of that. I almost feel like this concealer is like a serum too. It is bomb. And this color is DG3. I'm guessing dark, golden, and then number three. And my undertones are golden. It looks intense now, but it's not that intense. It looks intense on camera. And what I like to do with my products is I like to let them like sit a little bit, especially the concealer, so it can dry down. That's a good Jackie Ina trick. And speaking of Jackie Ina, for the vibes, because I told y'all about the jewelry, the shirt. For the vibes, this candle is lit, so I'm going to be very careful. No Wahala Forever Mood candle, and she lit. And Jackie on his team sent that over to me. No, or did I buy that one? They sent me over two other ones, but I did buy that one. Now, while the concealer is, like, sitting, I'm going to go ahead and do my bronzer action, and I'm using LYS again this is their no limits matte bronzer in strength dark now i'm gonna tell you something about these bronzers these bronzers are potent i've done so much with this and it's like once you apply it to the face it's there it's not moving like if it's on there it's there to stay i'll be blending vigorously to get this stuff to blend out and it'd be like mm, no girl i'm here they have tons of dope products, but I'm only going to be using these two because sometimes like they have a cream bronzer that's really dope, but the color that I got is too dark. It's way too dark for me. So every now and then I'll go on Sephora and see if it's in stock, but these products do sell out very fast and I think it's because they are a clean beauty brand. So just keep that in mind. If you're into clean beauty brands, LYS, it stands for Love Yourself. Okay, for the sponge, I've used this sponge now on my channel, I would say for about two years, three years maybe. The sponge is by another black-owned indie brand, and I hope that they're still in business. I really, really do, but the name of the company is DSMD. I'm going to leave them linked, and this one is like their swirl sponge. I just washed it. I always wash my sponges right before I use them. So I'm going to go ahead and blend this out. I no longer cover up my moles. I used to cover up my mole. I have a mole here and one like in the middle of my head. And I try to make sure that I keep them showing. And I think that's kind of like another reason why I like products like this. Because I want some of my natural features to still shine through for an under eye setting powder the best hands down the best setting powder that's on the market is by fenty beauty you can argue with somebody else this this powder is waterproof it is long lasting it is smoothing it is brightening it is everything that you want i have the color honey in a mini that i travel with and then i also have this one in the color hazelnut that i keep on my vanity so I'm going to use hazelnut today and I kind of like dab a little bit of it off on the back of my hand because it, it's like a lot. It's very pigmented and then I use the sponge and I press and then dab into my skin and when I sweat I literally just get 
beads of sweat that will sit on top of this powder but the makeup won't move it is crazy so basically i just said either anywhere that i would get oily or anywhere that i added concealer because i want to lock in that concealer i'm actually not going to set the rest of my face crazy but i honestly really don't need it especially with that danessa myricks products i'm gonna go back into this brush there's no product on it and i just i just want to blend it where i applied that powder okay now for blush we got options on the blush i'm not even gonna lie over the summer i was obsessed with danessa myrick's blush i'm gonna try to find it because i know that i've used it on my channel Okay, it might be in one of my other makeup bags, but it's their Vision Flush. And it's basically like a cream that you can use on the lips, on the cheek. Beautiful. My favorite color is Tutu. It's like a pink. Recently, y'all know Juvia's Place launched those blushes that were like dupes of the Dior blush. But to me, better. So I got Volume 5 in the Juvia's Place Blush Rouge Duo. And this is what the colors look like. The colors are crazy. I mean, they're so vibrant. This one actually looks really pretty on me, but I don't use it often. I really kind of go for the lower one that is the pink. And I'm going to use this Pat McGrath brush because the way it distributes the color is insane. And yes, I have been really, really into blush. And I just barely tap it. Blush is also the first thing that fades. So I feel like even if you go a little overboard with it, it's all right. It's okay. So I'll say on a normal day, this is the face. This is the face routine. The only other two things that I would do outside of this is like some lip gloss and I would fill in my brows, do some mascara. Today though, we're going to take it like a couple of steps forward because we're going to try some new things. So first off, let me fill in my brows. This is by the Lip Bar. The Lip Bar is sold at Walmart and Target. It's a black owned brand. She's based out of Chicago. She also has another brand. I can't think of the name of it right now. Her name is Melissa. She owns the brand. But yeah, the Lip Bar is dope. And they did start off making lip products, but they also make a full range of face products so like their face powder is really good they have a tinted moisturizer amazing they have a bronzer that is amazing this is the lip bar this is the brow pencil in deep brown it's called the exact arch and it does just that i just like it because it so like skinny and precise and i don't need a whole whole lot on my brows uma beauty but the Uma Beauty that's actually at Walmart, I think it's called like Uma by Sharon. That one has a really, really good brow product and it comes with a brow gel also. Like, a, and, But I keep that, oh here it is. I'm like, I keep it in my travel makeup bag. It is this. You know, we want to give them that crisp look. This is all I do with my brows too, FYI. I only fill them in. I don't do like that little concealer trick thing. It's just not for me. For highlighter, I'm gonna use a little bit of highlighter today, just a tiny bit. I am gonna use Pat McGrath. I know that she has some new highlighters for her holiday collection, but some of them aren't out and some of them I haven't purchased because I really wanna purchase the, like, the blush palette with the highlighter in it, but the one that I want is not out, so I'm going to use the Skin Fetish Divine Glow Highlighter in Bronze Mirage. I can't tell you when this one came out, but I know it's not super old. And it has like a champagne-y, pinky kind of undertone. Go light on Little Miss Pat because she'll have you looking like you descended from the moon, the mothership itself okay now for the eyes the fun part the lips all of the things right so from this pat i love pat mcgrath so i know that in general a lot of these products are going to either be pat mcgrath or danessa myricks heavy and that's just because for one they're older black owned makeup brands like they've been in the game 
a minute now and i just have so many products from them and i've used so many products from those two brands and to me they're staples because the brand owners are professional makeup artists and have been for decades so it's just kind of like one of those things where not only do i appreciate the artist the artists but i also appreciate the artistry and like the story so yeah i have the two new pat mcgrath holiday palettes that i think i'm gonna use one of these and i also have all three of her holiday mascaras and i mean this is just it's blinding the bottles are holographic and they are thick and heavy but these are colorful like we'll see how that how that turns out let me moisturize my lips a little bit with this pat freebie lip fetish lip balm the other thing that i have i use it in an instagram video because i worked with danessa is this lightwork five palette and this palette is just insanely beautiful the colors are so reflective that i think that they're blinding and depending on which way they're turned the colors shift there's like a lot of textures a lot of pigments i mean this is this right here is insane so if you get a chance to get your hands on this and you are a makeup lover or just even just want to try something that's like intergalactic try it speaking of intergalactic this is totally off topic but the movie intergalactic is a cartoon on netflix it's very black and it's very beautiful y'all need to watch it it was so good i think i'm gonna re-watch it because i was just really really into it celestial nirvana eye palette in nude allure and bronze bliss and it is a five pan palette doesn't look like much right here but it's so pretty in person so there's only one matte in the palette i'm gonna use that matte in the crease and do like a really simple eye because i'm gonna use that mascara do i use eyeshadow primer most of the time i do not i love playing in makeup but sometimes i just feel like the products are already so good on their own that Sometimes you don't need extra stuff. You know what I am gonna use? I'm, I'm gonna slightly use a primer, cause it's a good one. And I haven't showed you guys, and you're gonna die. Off-White, the late Virgil. They now have beauty products, they have perfumes, and they have a small amount of makeup, and they have nail polish. So these are part of their makeup brand i have three colors in them and i'm gonna go back and order the rest of them because they are that good this is called the imprint and it's basically like a stick but look first of all look at the packaging in the packaging is like marble-esque you can use this as a lipstick as an eyeliner as a primer at whatever literally whatever like your options are endless so i love to travel with these this is the red one and then because they're so versatile they're so pigmented they're so creamy and they are matte and then this is the lime green one that i got oh but they have a navy blue one and a black one that is on my list i really hope that they come out with a brown one like really really hope but this one is the burgundy one i'm just gonna wipe her across my lid a little bit as a primer this is such a pretty lip shade too like oh and this would literally go perfect with this shirt but i'm gonna do a new lip kind of like my signature nude lip signature-esque nude lip whatever this color is it's almost like a shimmery ish pink i love a good multi-use product and farfetch has a beauty section now and they sell them I think Shopbop is getting a beauty section, so they're probably going to be pretty much everywhere. Essence has a beauty section. It's called Everything Else. They're likely on there. So everywhere that I find them, I got mine up for Selfridges because they were a little bit cheaper on Selfridges. And I already paid for their like global shipping or whatever. But I will link everywhere that has those particular pencils because they are good. 
the shadow that's pretty it's simple it's easy and it's pretty so now we're gonna get into the Pat McGrath mascara the new one I wish she almost would have came out with a purple one but she has a pink one a blue one and kind of like a teal one so I think I'm gonna go with the pink one oh she said I don't need no primer what primer you can see it from right here could you imagine this is gonna be so good for like Halloween I feel like I look like a bird on this side this is crazy but it does kind of make my eyes sit a little lower I think because it's all pink so maybe what I'll do is add like some eyeliner like some black eyeliner to create like contrast in between the shadow and my eyes but I love the way that it looks low key high key I'm gonna try this again with maybe like a brown smoky eye because from afar it almost looks like I have on neon eyeliner and I don't I'm going back in with the lip bar this color is in straight living it is literally just a beautiful brown lip liner I love a good brown lip liner and this is just alone with that Pat McGrath lip balm you can already see the vision but we're gonna go in with Uma Beauty Eartha fan favorite classic this is how much I have left of this lipstick and I think that this is my original one because this is the newer one that she did and the color is not the same to me like and maybe it is but I don't know it's just something about the color that's like a little different I love this packaging though the black packaging and then gloss because the girlies like gloss a little Fenty Beauty gloss any Fenty Beauty gloss especially the heat glosses let me actually see if I have one of the heat glosses lemon lava I look so funny without black mascara it's so weird to me but in a cute way but while you're zoomed in here, I definitely said that I was going to show y'all the Koi Studio experience. Because I definitely feel like her brand is an experience. First of all, this is how the thank you card arrived. Or the envelope arrived. So this is literally a velvet envelope with an embossing of her branding on it. Yeah. And then the website and literally a sticker that looks like it's been melted together. I had not opened this part yet because I was just like, I didn't want to mess it up before I could actually show it on camera. So, And then she gives you this book, which has a receipt in it, but I'm not going to show you guys because it has all of my information on it. And it comes with a book. Now, I just was thinking, you know, like this was going to be like a little catalog. No, babes. This is literally a whole book. It has quotes, pictures, like the entire experience. And it's actually really inspiring inside of the book. And there's like little short stories. So, babe, you're doing it. Guess what the jewelry came in? These velvet teal bags that have her branding on them. They say the Koi Studio. And then the earrings also came in this inside of the velvet bag so I, I have yet another teal velvet moment i love velvet i love a good velvet if you have not seen my last black owned business video then please check it out i'm gonna leave it linked and i think i'm gonna make a playlist of all of like the black owned business videos this is my first makeup one tell me what you guys think about the look the mascara is throwing me off but i like it it's like a really weird combo something that I'm like slightly obsessed with but in the weirdest way but I definitely am gonna do it on a darker like eyeshadow look so that my eyes don't look droopy so I love you guys thank you so much for watching and supporting black owned brands black owned businesses we love that and we definitely need that for us in our community because there is space and room for everyone but especially us okay because we haven't been giving the platform, the space, or the room to actually thrive in the past. So we're going to push through these barriers at this point. And, you know, we're going to tell the people that really care about us, pull up, show up, show out.
so i love you guys thanks for watching and i will see you in my next video bye i'm a vibe up today